everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tower. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nations people, the traditional custodians of the land on which these videos are made. And welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. Love your comments. Keep them coming. I'm plugging through them. Yeah, there's a bit of uh, trolls. There's a bit of spam. Don't worry about it. I shall clean it up. Okay, entertainment only. Oh, if anyone contacts you privately, I haven't heard of this happening yet. Seem to have gone under the radar with this one. But if anyone contacts you privately, it's not me. I don't. I don't actually reach out uh, via my uh, YouTube videos at all. Okay, or or via email. So if anyone does, it's not me. I just noticed there's a lot of spam appearing in my inbox, my email inbox at the moment, basically saying, oh, thank you for your order. Here's your invoice. It's like, nah, straight to the trash. I don't even open the email. And basically what they're doing is they're trying to get you to click on a link. Um, okay, what I want to have a look at, Orban, Victor Orban, the president, prime minister, whatever he is, leader of uh, Hungary, went to Kiev to meet with uh, Zelensky in the last couple of days. Uh, basically, he's calling for a ceasefire. Um, uh, what's happened is the country of Hungary in the rotating presidency of the of the EU Commission, uh, they are now the uh, will be putting forward the president for the EU, which is a concerning for others in the EU. However, Orbán has uh, gone to visit Zelensky, uh, and he's um, he's basically said, "Look, we need to have a ceasefire in regards to this." He's very pro Russia, Mr. Orbán. He said, "We had to have to have a ceasefire, and then we'll sort it out." Um, now, Viktor Orbán in the past has been very anti-Ukraine, uh, being in the EU, uh, and tried to blockade EU assistance to Ukraine uh, to deal with this invasion. Interestingly enough, Belarus, uh, who was another very pro-Russian uh, country, sits on the top of uh, Ukraine, uh, has released some political, a number of political prisoners. So. There's a shift happening. Mm, what do they know that's coming up that the rest of us don't? So I just want to have a look. And interestingly enough, what's happened, um, well, Trump in his rallies, et cetera, oh, speaking of which in his rallies, uh, his rally in Florida. No, he didn't go to Florida. It was a virtual rally uh, recorded in his Bedminster Resort. Uh, the room didn't look particularly full and it looked like the average age was probably about 75 or, or older. Um, but Trump's been uh, declaring that he could uh, end the war tomorrow. Well, that went well in Afghanistan, didn't it? Um, so Zelensky has come out and said, uh, Trump, if you have a means to end this war without um, uh giving up Ukraine's independence, please let us know. So, of course, nothing's going to come out of that. Very interestingly, though, I did notice um, we haven't seen uh, Trump out and about uh, with his usual carry-on that he usually does. Look at his Untruth Social um, page so that you guys don't have to. And he was really, uh, didn't have a lot on there aside from the Florida rally and then going back, he was railing at the media outlets. So I suspect uh, the polling, the internal polling after the, um, the debate and the fact that the media all over have been calling out the number of lies and that he basically was lying his backside off uh hasn't gone down very well with him so yeah and he was claiming he made 13 million in donations after the debate well i think biden made 35 million plus or something anyhow not looking at that i am looking at hungry victor orban what does why did Victor Orban, oh, you wanted that card. Oh, this is interesting. The card that wanted to come out was uh, meetings, plans, um, plans underway. Planning, planning. So it's not a plan coming to fruition. That's my three of ones. That's something in the stages of planning. So 
Why did Victor Orban, I'm going to ask, okay, rather than just a open slather, why did Victor Orban go to Kiev to shift, was it a, sh was it a shifting of alliances? Is he trying to backtrack on his anti-Ukraine stance? Is he, is, is Viktor Orbán, did he go for the meeting to signal a shifting of alliances? Oh, goodness me, you want all those cards and that one. Okay, signal a shifting of alliances. Interesting, really enough, with what's happened in Belarus. So come on down. Wow, okay, justice, signify a card. Very much about actions having consequences. This dude, he's got one arm in the mouth of the, of the what is it, wolf? We could call that Russia if you want. And one hand holding the sword, the point is, is downwards. So the truth is pointing downwards, but it is the sword of truth. So this is about uh, rebalancing and it's about actions having consequences. Trying to still appear the strong man, I think, is what, he, what he's trying to do while balancing his allegiances. Okay, thank you. I love it when my boys come through. If you hear them, let me know. The only sound here at the moment is two puppy dogs fast asleep on the rug over there. Um, yeah, this is, I'm really getting trying to uh, balance his allegiances and remain as with with the appearance of uh, being a strong man. Okay, let's see where this goes. Challenged by Eight of Swords, restriction. Okay, if you're in that neck of the woods, let me know. Are the populace of Hungary, I know they, they've been protesting in the past about getting Orbán getting out of office. But is Orbán finding himself even more and more restricted because of the stance he took being anti-Ukraine and uh, trying to blockade help? He's, he's facing a restriction here, a restriction at the point of the sword, the swords of truth, the swords of justice. Okay, thank you. Um, I just got that he's realised he's going to find himself on, on the wrong side of history. Um, okay, let's see where this goes. Yep, here we've got this card again at the, at the foundation of the reading is that uh, he's trying to uh, put options on the table, making plans in the past, the Ten of Cups, uh, end of a cycle, but this is very much, if you have a look at that card, I don't know if you can see it clearly, it's the emperor sitting on the throne and you've got all the disciples or the minions cheering the emperor. Now we know who the emperor is. The emperor is the leader of Russia. Um, it, this also could have been Orban in his um, alliance with Russia or celebrating but it's at an end. It's in the past and it's and it's the end of a cycle. Okay. Let's see where this goes. Crowning the reading, judgment. Judgment, a collective awakening, an inevitability. There is, especially with uh, the recent assistance that's come into Ukraine from all over the world, uh, there is an inevitability that, uh, Ukraine will prevail. This is also very much an awakening card. Okay, immediate future contracts and agreements. Uh, whether this is a ceasefire or whether this is Orban trying to align himself with Ukraine um, externally for Orban, why, why was he there? Uh, it is about secrets coming to the surface and being revealed, and it is literally the fight of good versus evil externally. Internally for him, the magician trying to pull the rabbit out of his hat, uh, the shapeshifter, 
the manifesting as future going forward. Two major arcana internally, but two major arcana internally and external, internally, externally. Oh, I'm really drawn to the chicken there. Um, I normally wouldn't notice the chicken, but the chicken there, the cowardness. I just, that's the word I'm getting, cowardness. So he's shape-shifting out of cowardly, cowardliness. Um, if he truly believed he was right, he would not be uh, doing this uh, meeting with Zelensky and making these off overtures. Hopes and fears, having to defend himself when the wrath of the Almighty is brought down upon him, the wrath of Thor, the wrath of God, whatever you like to call it. Seven of Wands there. The outcome, sneaking into camp, stealing, betraying, loss, heartbreak, in government. As this page of swords, a whistleblower, or simply the youth rising up against him. Okay, his poor choices in the past, his poor choices, his uh, working behind the scenes for, I mean, if you look at the face, not for very pleasant reasons. This is this was him lining himself with um, with Putin, and then we've got this is my Biden administration card, or it's just the. Um, Emotionally mature, negotiated, diplomat, uh, Blinken perhaps, or just the democratic um, administration. And then we've got uh, Putin or the Kremlin, the emperor, secrets being revealed, high priestess, secrets being revealed. So what I'm really getting out of that why did uh, Viktor Orban visit Zelensky? I think he's had a realisation that he is going to find himself on the wrong side of history. If you're wondering what that deck is, it's the runic tarot. I do love this deck. It's very dark, though. But, yes, uh, he's had a realisation that... Um, Okay, thank you. It's to do with the North Korean troops that I read on last week that there is Russia is not going to win this, so he's trying to realign himself. I suppose I should ask whether it's going to work. I'll leave that for another day uh, when things get a little bit closer. Okay, and I suspect you'll find Belarus will be doing the same as well. So take care, look after yourselves, love to you all, catch you later.